I am shooketh. I am totally shocked. And I'm just like, what is happening? What is happening with the world? Liquid Lola. Liquid Lola. Lola. What's up guys, Liquid Lola here. And this one is gonna be a little interesting. So buckle up, okay? Now, as we all know, AI is becoming a bigger and bigger part of all of our lives, whether it's using ChatGPT to help you out with your math homework or <laughs> using ChatGPT to help you with your job. Um, there are ways that we can utilize AI to just help us, just to make things a little easier, right? Right? That's how the matrix started, okay? That's how the matrix started. So as you know, over the past like couple years, people have really been diving further into AI, whether it's for art, art purposes. Um, you know, at one point, everybody was like making AI of themselves. Like, let me see a picture of me as a cowboy or me as a Renaissance painting, that kind of thing. Then it moved into music. You can take any cover song and you can make it sound like Beyonce sang it. You can make it sound like Taylor Swift sang it. And these artists are not getting paid. It's not their voices. It's not their real voices. It's not even music that they would do. But I can write my own lyrics to a song and say, give it to me in the style of Justin Bieber and AI will do it for me. And that's a little scary. It's a little scary, but you know, it's like, okay, never mind. It doesn't really matter that much, I guess. Like, you know, the, the music artists are gonna have to work that out for themselves, right? Who is it hurting if I wanna hear Justin Bieber sing Mary Had a Little Lamb? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe Justin Bieber doesn't wanna be out there singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. I don't know. But now, I am shooketh. I am totally shocked. And I'm just like, what is happening? What is happening? with the world. Now y'all, we have AI models. We have AI models. It came across my feed and I was just scrolling along or whatever. And I came across this feed. I'm like, what, what, what is this? What is, oh, what? Let me tell you. Now they have AI models. They have AI models and they have AI modeling agencies. AI modeling agencies. So like now y'all trying to put models out of business? Like it is crazy. They are AI influencers. Let me show you this girl, okay. Aitana is a strong and determined woman, independent in her actions and generous in her willingness to help others. With boldness and authenticity, she faces challenges and expresses her opinion without reservation. Although her complicated humor and self-centeredness sometimes make it difficult to get a smile out of her, showing her complexity. As a content creator, she shines with extroversion, attracting attention with her striking character. As a passionate Scorpio, she highlights her love for video games and her dedication to the fitness lifestyle, evidencing her intensity and care for her physical well-being. What? She's not a Scorpio because she wasn't even born. She doesn't even exist. Are you kidding me right now? And her fitness lifestyle? What fitness? I'm in here doing crunches. I'm running up and down stairs. I'm going for long walks. And she's just programmed. Are you kidding me right now? It's nuts. And what makes it even more nuts are the comments. The comments. Like you have people that are commenting on these posts you know, they're commenting on these posts. And I'm like, do y'all know that this is not a real person? Like, do y'all know that this person is fake? Do y'all know that this person is AI? What in the dystopian future is happening? This is crazy. And then not only do you have real people who are commenting on this, but then y'all, you have AI commenting on it. AI, other AI models are commenting on the AI models Instagram posts. What? I, 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 
don't even know what to say. I, I really don't even know what to say. Like, this is crazy. Like, first off, she's not a gamer because she doesn't even have hands. She doesn't even have real hands, y'all. She doesn't have real hands. She doesn't even have a corporeal body to hold a controller in her hand. She's not a gamer. Are you kidding me? I am, I don't even know. Like over the years and obviously, you know, there have been plenty of movies and TV shows and books and comics and things that have explored, you know, um, uh, electronic people or uh, people who don't exist that are able to have relationships or whatever. There were some old Twilight Zones that had this um, or some old Hitchcock or something. I saw one that was like, this guy was in love with like the computer and it was like very strange. His computer was like the whole size of the room. Can't remember what which, which show it was, but it was like very, very old. It was something like in the 60s. And you know, then we had that movie She. There've been all sorts of things that, um, you know, that, that are available. They even have AI companions. If you look in the app store, you'll see, you know, your AI girlfriend and things like that. I guess there's a market for it. I guess, you know, there are people who are lonely or people who don't really have that sort of companionship or people who are introverts and or homebodies or, or maybe disabled and don't really have that input, input from real live humans. So I can, I can see where they're, could be an application for this. But once you start getting into like AI models and creating AI modeling agencies, that's where it's kind of like a very slippery slope for me. You're really messing with people's livelihoods. Over the years, I've dabbled in, in modeling and I've done, you know, like some stock photography things and stuff like that. Nothing major, no major campaigns or anything, but I did get paid. Like I got paid for work that I did in front of the camera and they weren't the hugest checks, but I have friends that are models. I have friends who really get paid to, to go and show up and be on time and sit and makeup and hair and put on the clothes and get pictures taken and get paid for advertising campaigns. Once you start getting into like AI models and AI content creators and AI influencers, like you're really putting a lot of people out of work. When you think of all the people it takes to do a photo shoot from the photographers to the makeup artists to the venues even, like, you know, you're gonna go to the place and you're gonna rent out this place for a couple days and you're gonna do a photo shoot and you have lighting guys and lighting people and makeup people and assistants, like casting people. These are real people with jobs that now you're trying to replace with like the click of a button. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. And I am all about technology and I'm always an advocate for like new things and the way to make things new and the way to make things different. You know, I'm even looking at different ways to to include some AI content on my channel. I am. Things that may help me with editing and things that may help me, you know, in content creation. I'm looking at those options because I'm one person. Like I'm I'm one person. Like I can't do all of the things sometimes that it takes to produce fully sussed out content, you know, and it and it is a time saver. So, you know, I'm maybe a bit of a hypocrite here when I'm complaining about one thing, but then willing to use other aspects of it to help myself and to help my channel. I just think that it, it is a very weird space when you're looking at AI influencers or AI content creators, because who are they serving? Who are they serving? Like what products are they trying to influence? What are they trying to influence? Who's backing that? You know, we see all this issue with TikTok right now where, you know, the US government is is trying to shut down TikTok or, or not shut it down, but trying to ban TikTok unless they, you know, divest from this Chinese company. And I just think that we're in a very, like we are on the precipice 
of greatness or we are on the precipice of ruin. <laughs> you know, these are all things that, that affect the economy. These affect people's livelihoods. And yes, when new technologies come out, whether it's Photoshop, you know, whether it's digital cameras versus, you know, um, analog cameras, a lot of industries did go out of business when, when digital cameras came about. It's very hard to find a place to develop a roll of film right about now. Like that's something that we don't really need anymore. Yes, there are humans that have been replaced on factory lines and on assembly lines and in the food service industry and in deliveries, you know, there are, you know, humans that have been replaced for this. We've seen all of these sci-fi movies. Like we know where this goes. We know where this ends up. I don't know if I'm being dramatic. I don't know that I'm being dramatic. I, I think this warrants a little drama. If you can fool people online with misinformation and with people who aren't even people, where does that put us as a society? Like, okay, fine. You know, you want AI models to sell your fitness equipment. That's fake. <laughs> That's fake. She's not been on your Peloton because she doesn't have feet. She doesn't have legs. She doesn't even have a body. She doesn't have a heart to be heart healthy. I, I just, I don't know. It just seems very dangerous. Like it, it just seems very dangerous to me. And I can make jokes and it can be funny and we can all laugh, ha 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 ha. But y'all, come on, come on. Like, and there, and I, and I went down the rabbit hole a little bit with the AI models. There are lots that I'm not really showing here because, you know, it's a lot of skin. To say the least, I don't know. I think all industries are just really going to be affected by this. Porn. What about porn? I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even say. I'm. I shouldn't even say this on here. I don't know if I'm going to leave this in or not. Maybe this will be an outtake. I don't know. But porn, y'all. What about porn? I don't know. I just think that it's very strange. It's very strange. But I don't know. I. I just. I just think the more and more and more that we go for this perfection, I'll say that, the more and more that we strive for this perfection that doesn't exist. Like guys, this, this level of perfection doesn't really exist. It's a very small number of people who look like this, like in the world. And I think that it gives unrealistic beauty standards it gives unrealistic body image, you know, and it's, I don't know, I just think it's dangerous. I just think it's dangerous because right now it's photos. Like right now it's just photos for the most part. Like right now it's just photos, but the way technology is advancing, it's advancing very rapidly. I've, I've seen some stuff out of Sora with, um, with like live videos and, and stuff that they're getting out of Sora, um, which if you don't know about Sora, definitely look it up. It's, it's pretty interesting, but it's a new AI uh, video tool. This technology is increasing like exponentially. So I think that people are gonna take a lot of shortcuts when it comes to creating advertisements, creating propaganda, creating you know, things that you think are real or things that you think is, are, is really news, um, things that you think really happened. And I think we're in a very precarious place right now as a society. Um, and it's a little scary. <laughs> It's a little scary. I would love to hear what you think though. So please let me know in the comments and definitely check out some of those uh, AI influencers and let me know what you think. They're all hot because you know, they're made that way. So guys, you might enjoy it. I don't know. I think you will. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and share if you think that this video is good enough to share with people if you think people might be interested. Um, yeah, but that's all I've got for now. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.